Why I lie for you, I cheat for you, wash your garments a lot. Why should I have to do your dirty work? Because I'm a buzzard, which gives me the right to boss little boys like you around. That's why. Where do I sign up to beat the champ? Why, right here, my good sap. I, I mean, sir. Of course, there is a nominal entrance fee of $5 that entitles you a chance to beat me, the champ. Hmm. Aw, oh, shoot. I seem to be a tad short. Do you suppose I might use my fine automobile as an entrance fee? Buddy, you got yourself a contest. <laughs> Ha! Too bad. You left a 7-10 split. You'll never get that. <laughs> what? That's impossible. But not improbable. <laughs> Oh, look! The space shuttle! Where? I don't see the space shuttle. Huh? Say, what kind of an alley is this? That was a perfect shot! Perhaps you need corrective lenses. to see what I'm seeing. <laughs> I think there's some cheating going on. <laughs> what? <laughs> now that's a split. <laughs> Ooh, you're not doing so good. Chalk me down for another... <laughs> Steerike! Champion. <laughs> 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 
And that four-wheeled beauty out front is all mine! <laughs> Come on, Tweaky. You and me are off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. <laughs> reward. Larceny, robbery, unlawful toenail clips. Why that no good thief and cheat? Hello, operator, get me the police. That's right, officer, the Buzz Buzzard. He's here at the bowling alley. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Officer, he's wanted for cussing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh huh. For littering, for jaywalking, for bouncing checks, for petty larceny, fraud, for bank robbery. Yeah, well, that's really swell, pal, but we're pretty busy here with serious cases right now, and, uh. But, officer, he's parked in a red zone. What? <laughs> it's not how it looks. Step out of the vehicle, sir. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was just. <laughs> Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I said, step out of the vehicle! You have the right to shut your big yap. If you waive your right to shut your big yap, it may be shut for you. So long. Thanks for the reward. See ya. Hate to be ya. <laughs> We go on the air in 15 minutes! Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show! Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. Not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga! Helga! I got me a penguin! And it's got a little hat! I like that! Let's shoot it! <laughs> Money! Back in a flash. 
the gumbo's decidedly delish. Hold on there! Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops. Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. do everything myself. <laughs> this is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Marty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. <laughs> Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. There's nothing like a barbecuing neighbor. Say, Wally! <gasps> you stay away from me, Woodpecker. This is my barbecue. <laughs> Dial prank phone. It's the next best thing to eating there. Oh, fur. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Woodpecker, get out of my yard! Gee, Wally, I don't think your phone goes that far. <laughs> Let's do lunch again real soon, Wally. <laughs> are you annoyed by a woodpecker who constantly troubles you to your wit's end? Of course you are. And does he look like this? Yeah, you bet. That's the guy, all right. Right there. I thought so. Well, have you tried... The silent treatment? Well, I guess not. Apparently no not, Einstein. Many have tried and many have failed, but the new Dr. Doug Nuts technique really works. 
Yeah? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, a skeptic, eh? Well, let's see the doctor illustrate the technique. So, Dr. Nuts, how's it going? I said, how's it going? Yeah, I'm not saying a word. <gasps> it really works. See? This, too, can be you for only 17 payments of $39.95. Hello, Nutco Inc.? Yeah, send over a silent treatment right away. <gasps> oh, boy. Silent treatment instructional audio. Ooh, the silent treatment. Well, I wonder what's on the old agenda for today. I think I'll play golf today. Or... Darn flowers, how's a guy supposed to golf? Hmm, this tree's right in the way of my shot. Well, I'm not a woodpecker for nothing. <laughs> Don't forget rule number 17. Uh, I'm not saying a word. Atta boy! Wally's gonna be mad. Better not let on I was playing golf. Uh, gee, uh, what happened, Wally? I, I heard a big crash. Uh, <laughs> uh, lucky the tree didn't fall on you. It's not that big a deal, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I admit it. It was me, Wally. But I'm good for it. Not now, but I'm good for it. Later. Oh, so it's the silent treatment, eh? Well, we'll just see about that, Buster. I'll break you, or I'm not fit to call myself a woodpecker. you down is it a problem with your neighbor is this walrus giving you the silent treatment and does he look like this it's him i thought so then what you need is dr doug nuts anti-silent treatment technique ah oh, pshaw go peddle your papers oh another wise guy eh well i'll just let the doctor illustrate the technique say hello doctor Oh, Dr. Nuts. <clears throat> knock, knock. Knock, knock. I said, knock, knock. Who's there? <gasps> I'm not saying a word. It works. That's right. For just 17 easy payments of $39.95, you'll get a reward-winning book of 1,001 knock-knock jokes guaranteed to break anyone's silent treatment or even their will to live. Ah, fooey. Who needs a book? I got a thousand and two knock-knock jokes right here in the old bean. <sighs> Ain't it swell? I'm finally rid of the woodpecker. Oh, no, you're not. 
Hey, Wally, how's about a couple of words for your old buddy? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's see Wally get through that. Oh, ugly mowgli. Moguls are my specialty. <laughs> 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 Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> yeah, Lou, this is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Woodpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> Hey, how come they're laughing? Hiya, buddy. Ah! Oh, goody. There's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! The world's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can't you people get a three reds? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur-bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <coughs> the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. Can I help you there, bub? I got a business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. What is it now? Mom! What are you doing in there? <laughs> this 
little guy's really starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What a mess. Hey! Five bucks! Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa! some people. Listen, Beb. I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb. But apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub. I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it, and some of these long johns too. I'll be back though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin. Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Hello? Stay on him. Stay there. A, Keep a me word, focused. Please, Mr. We'll get a Penguin. reverse angle later on. Order. Order in the court. Now, Mr. Woodpecker. Please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. 
please the mole, or it's life in prison. Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Volley will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? Ooh, ow, ow. There, is that better? <gasps> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mahi mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The fumes flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> Wally! Hurry up! As the Red Rises is almost on. <laughs> I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! <laughs> Yump and yiminy. Why don't you wait a moment, you big... Wally, how's about a lullaby to put me to sleep? <sighs> Okie dokie, Woody. Wally, I need something a little more soothing. Mm, maybe a little more classical, Wally. Now, uh, play them all together, Wally. Please? Wally, it's too dark in here. Wally, move the bed closer to the TV. Uh, Wally, it's too bright in here. Wally! Okay, buddy. Will that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> sleep. Hey, Walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud.
Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But your honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
You play nice with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. No! Special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got a hook in a pole? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's Cut Rate Bait, it can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with Cut Rate Bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog. And next, my genuine fish fly larvae. And finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so's they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. Oh! 
<laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! Don't give us the hook! Oh. Here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So send me back and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catch us a fish. the return. Oh, uh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I knowed. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. We have returned! But what's wrong? Well, you fed us when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! <laughs> All this rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control shack, yeah, you bet. One weather shack for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. <laughs> Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's 
working. One groovy volleyball at pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing Woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! <laughs> hey, everyone. Plenty of fun and sun over here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. Care to bob for Swedish meatballs? Ew! Gross! <laughs> hey, you guys! Why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hay vague! Listen, you meddlesome fowl. Those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. Woodpecker. <laughs> now, uh, I'll go get cleaned up, and I'll be back before you can say, Who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland, with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. <laughs> what the? saw a chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. You mind explaining what's going on here, buddy? You destroyed my party, and now I'll destroy you! Now to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty. Ooh, look at 
look at all the pretty buttons. I hardly know where to start. All pure. I shut him down or my name is it. <sighs> you throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody.